teams are lining up for the kickoff. We're just about set to get this one underway. He really got a hold of that kick. The Commodores and their coaching staff, Kirk, just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing well. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. When you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. And I'm sure we're going to see it again today. You like the faith he has in his receiver to just put the ball up and let him go get it. First and ten. Ball on their own 35. Ready! Room around the corner. Nice gain as he works the right side. Gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Looks over the middle, and it's picked off. And down he goes at the 42. Not a good decision there. Why did he even throw that pass? Well, it's a good job by the corner of sitting back and reading the quarterback's eyes. Good job of disguising coverage as well. From the 42-yard line, it's first down. Makes it to the 42-yard line, and he manages to get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. That makes it second and ten. Watch 36, 36 the mic. Watch the slant, watch the slant. Watch the slant. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. down and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. And he's tackled after positive yardage. You know Brad on these third downs where it's third and medium it gives the play caller a chance to run the football or to throw the football. And in this case I didn't really think the defense was sitting back thinking about more of the pass game and it opened up some running lanes, and the offense was able to take advantage of that and convert for a first down. He goes out of bounds around the 25-yard line. That makes it second and six. From the 25-yard line, it's second down. Nice run, and he's brought down. First and ten, ball on the 18-yard line. Nice run up the middle. That makes it second and six. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. After a decent run up the gut. They've been two for two on third downs in this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. Here we go. Easy, easy, easy. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Touchdown, Tigers! This back has great vision, which allows him to make runs like this one we just saw. He splits the uprights with the extra point. 
A 10 play, 41 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. It can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Tigers are right where they want to be early in this one, part. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. Their last drive ended with an interception. We're about to find out what the defense can do this time. He's got a lot of time to forget about that last pick. He's just got to stick to the game plan. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Tackle at the 47. The pass results in a first down. I'll tell you, great call by the coaches on first down. It stretches the defense when they're expecting the run, and then they end up with another first down. From their own 47-yard line, first down. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. On the throw, incomplete pass. These guys, especially in the secondary, really get after it and can make life hard for the play callers on the other side of the ball. I don't know if they'll be able to hear his cadence in the midst of all this mayhem. And that one's incomplete. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. It has the distance. No good. He hooked it left. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. LSU is up a score. Makes the catch and look out. Rock down at midfield. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 50-yard line. Strike complete, he's down. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Two, maybe three yards. That's good for a gain of three yards. Third down. Right and left, right and left. Four down, four down. Watch 36, 36 to Mike. Ready! Black! Straight run here, and he's got nowhere to go. The offense got a little conservative and predictable with their play call, but credit the defense with being up to the task of stopping the run. This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. 7-0, Tigers. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set to start the second quarter. a great tackle at the 38. From the 38-yard line, first down, LSU up seven points.
tackle made right around the 36 yard line. Call it a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. Hey, 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 hey. A nice seven yard gain on the option keeper. And this is the eighth play of the drive. And they make the stop around the 21 yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 21 yard line. And he's tackled around the 18 yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. That'll make it second. Here's play number 10 on the drive. He's taken down at the 17. Call it a gain of one yard. That'll bring up third and six. Third and six. Ball on the 17 yard line. 36. 36 to Mike. Quick strike and he drops it. Number three, he intended to see him. That'll make it fourth and six. LSU can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. It's up, and it splits the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. He's to the 20, and he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Tackled after a decent pickup. That makes it second and six. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. He's got it out to his tight end. He's tackled at the 44. He faked out everybody in the stadium. When you can sell the run that well, you're going to have the upper hand on the defense. First and 10. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. 57 is the mic. Rock 57. Sand! Black 57! <laughs> Tackled for a loss. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 43 yard line. Pressure coming and the ball is loose. Picks up the fumble. Wow, very close to turning it over, but they'll keep possession of the football. Way to play heads up out there. That's just one more reason to play to the whistle. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. And this crowd is going absolutely crazy. They bring him down. I mean, as an offensive lineman, this is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that? Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. Both defenses really played well so far. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Throws complete. He's hit right away. That makes it second and six. Their own 32-yard line. 
Second down. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Ready! And they get the sack. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's under pressure. He's going to try and scramble. And he can't get away from the pressure. Well, we talked all week with the coaches, and even when we met with them yesterday out at practice, they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against them, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, they better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick. Vanderbilt's offense is so predicated on what this wide receiver does. And now when you consider that we've got a couple of quarters left, they've got to change the complexion of the game a little bit. And they're going to have to do it with somebody else, I think. This is really where a coaching staff gets challenged because for five or six days you prep and you look at a lot of film and you kind of come into a game by the time Saturday rolls around and you have a good idea of how you want to attack the defense. And then you go out there and it's not working. You have to show an ability as a coaching staff to go back and look at that drawing board and eliminate some things and maybe add some things and be able to try to make the adjustments you need to to give your team a chance to win in the second half. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Third down, and they need inside the 43. Really a tough spot for an offense to be in against this crowd in this stadium. Passes it, and it's picked out of the sky. They'll bring him down at the 46-yard line. Boy, just when it looked they had a chance to get right back into this game, they throw the interception. Now it's still early. Let's see if their defense can bail them out. From the 46-yard line, it's first down. Three down, three down. Watch 36, 36 to Mike. Nope. Motion, motion. Hey, motion back there. Motion, 29. Throws complete. He's got room to work. And down he goes around the 37-yard line. LSU's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Quick throw out to the receiver. Touchdown saving tackle. But leaves him with a first and goal. They found some seams in the coverage there. Let's see if the defense makes any adjustments to counter. Just throws this one away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. He's taken down at the nine. That makes it third and goal. Tackle right around the two yard line. Number 22 brings him down at the two yard line. This should be an easy field goal. Fourth and goal. Kicks up, and it is good. So at the end of the half, the Tigers lead 13-0. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. LSU's got the edge at the half. They also have all of the momentum, but momentum can be a fickle girlfriend, more fickle than a Kardashian, can change her mind at a moment's notice. So how do you keep the momentum on your side in the second half? Well, there'd be a lot happier guys right now if we knew how to keep girlfriends happy out there. But I tell you what, they got to capitalize on the momentum. Continue to use it for your side. Continue to do, continue not to make mistakes. Continue to play aggressive. 
but also don't play too aggressive. Don't take that momentum and get too hyped up and make mistakes. Just continue to do what you've been doing because obviously right now your girlfriend's happy. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk ready to roll. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Number 80, about to return. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 28. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Gets out to about the 31. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 31. Mike, 36. Ready. Check, check. 98 Weasel. 98 Weasel. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. The halfback lucky to get anything on that toss play. Third down. Defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. And he's level at the 44 yard line. From their own 44 yard line. First down. He's under pressure. Quick shot, the defender tips it away. You know, that actually might have been a break for the offense. Sometimes tip passes can linger in the air and get picked off. Screen pass, he's got his half back. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 47 yard line. That's third down again. He gets out to about the 37 yard line. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. From the 42 yard line, second down. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. He's out of bounds, right around the 28-yard line. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. This is the 11th play of this drive. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. Brought down around the 19-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. And that'll be a first down on the three-yard pass. Good look there from the quarterback, dumping it off and coming away with a new set of downs. And I think it was the quick throw by the quarterback that fouled up the defense on that one. From 
the 12 yard line. It's second down. Nice run, and he's brought down. And this is the 15th play of a very solid drive. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. False start, offense. You got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Up the middle for a nice game. This is the 16th play of this drive. And he adds the extra point. A long 16-play, 78-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. The Tigers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Quick strike to the receiver. Tackle made the 37-yard line. Call it a gain of 12 yards. It's first and 10. Ball on the 37-yard line. Let's go! Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. He fights forward to about the 40. That makes it third and seven. From their own 40-yard line, it's third down. That's three down and one to go. The Tigers lead it by 20. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. It's a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 50. Throws to the tight end, and that ball's incomplete. Complete. I'm not sure the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing lane. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 40. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked out. Wow, that looks like a generous spot to me. I thought he was a little bit short. Here's the eighth play of the series. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Ready. He scrambled. And he's taken down at about the 33-yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Let's go! Got 
a man. Watch out here. And they make the stop at the 23. Call the game at 10 yards. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Quick strike, and he drops it. From the 23-yard line, it's second down. Just throws this one away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. They come out in an empty backfield. This one's going deep to the end zone. Doesn't get there. Remember, this is college football. All you need is one foot down to be able to make this catch. This time, the wide receiver is just too close to the boundary, not allowing himself to get either his left or right foot down. He rifles it. Incomplete, almost picked off. When the first down marker is that far away, someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for him here. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He makes it to the 25-yard line. Call it a game of two yards. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Less than three minutes in the game. And he has it on the corner. He's to the 40. He's pushed out of bounds at the 41-yard line. Sometimes when you've got speed, that's all you need. It's the one thing you just can't defend. Second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He's at the 40. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. his way to about the 22. From the 22-yard line, first down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. The Commodores, I'm sure, are secure in the knowledge that despite this setback today, they still have one of the best players in the country. Well, this is a devastating loss, but it's one that they're going to have to put behind them. And as you said, they still have one of the best players in the country. They don't need to deviate their plan, get back to really what they know, and that's getting the ball to their star player. Next week, I'm sure they'll be fine. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.